Once again out there making it another great day and it's a beautiful hot day here at Clearwater Beach. I am at the 2019 Chalk Art Festival once again this year and uh, they get a little bit of a late start due to Tropical Storm Nestor which uh, kind of blew through here Saturday and uh, they're a little behind so we're not probably going to see a lot of finished works today but we're going to see what we can find and I believe Matt McAllister He's here, we're gonna go talk to him. He won it last couple years, I believe. That's coming at you right now. Well, another fun time down here at Clearwater Beach at the Clearwater Chalk Art Festival. Not a lot of finished works done, but uh, due to Tropical Storm Nestor blowing through, and uh, a lot of people up north uh, hear a tropical storm and they're all freaking out. It's about a 60 mile an hour wind, which is typical, typical summer thunderstorm here in Central Florida, and. Um, there, there was some tornadoes that spawned off, but it was over in Polk County, which is inland. Uh, no one hurt or injured. Uh, and a small tornado touched down and hit a mobile home here in Clearwater, uh, well, in Largo. Wasn't that bad. Um, i tell you, uh, all the events going on this weekend, several were canceled. One I couldn't go to, the Dunedin Stone Crab Festival. I didn't get to go to that because they canceled that one up just so many things to pick and choose I tell you I could not do this channel 
if I wasn't in Florida. If I was still living where I grew up, there was I would be done in a week uh, up in Kentucky. There's absolutely nothing going on up there um, because Florida is the second largest state for tourism. Uh, how California beat us out, I don't know. Kentucky, number 38 on the list. Um, there's some things to do up there, not a lot. Some caves, some horses, some uh, bourbon the factory distilleries and things like that, but not as much as you got here in Florida. There's just so much to do, so many things going on and it's always warm. I've seen some photos of some people uh, <laughs> that I went to school with at a football game Friday night and they all had coats and sweaters and hoodies on and I'm like, Oh my, I don't even own a coat. Uh, I own a hoodie, but right now I'm sweating it. And it's October. And uh, maybe by January it'll cool down a little bit. We did have a cold front, dropped us down to 85 degrees during the day, which was kind of nice. But I'm uh, gonna keep going out there, finding all kinds of locations and festivals. I enjoy checking out these festivals, especially food festivals, those are always fun. And I uh, appreciate you subscribers. Keep uh, hitting the subscribe button. Keep watching and sharing and commenting. And I'm um, going to keep going out there making it a great day because you deserve it.